Hey guys, today I'm going to demonstrate how to learn a complex movement. And by complex, I just mean relative. Uh, so just more complex than you're used to. And the movement I'm going to try to learn is a, a Jeet Kune Do attack. Uh, and that's a Bruce Lee attack, basically. So the idea of the movement, you know, I just watched a YouTube video on this and I don't know it yet. So I'm going to demonstrate me learning it. And you can kind of follow along and learn it too. And you can also just learn the concepts. So the idea of it is that, okay, you want to have a kind of Jeet Kune Do stance, which is kind of like leg 45 degrees here. And here is probably mostly, mostly forward, but not completely forward. Okay. And uh, you're, you're, you know, you're, this is loaded on the ball of your feet. Okay. And what's going to happen is we need to um, go forward, right? So one thing we need to do is we need to go forward in this funny Jeet Kune Do way where it's like, <laughs> Like some sort of kick thing. I'm not sure what the deal with is with that. So we need to put our, you know, hips forward kind of. That needs to happen. And also, you know, something's going on with this back foot here. There's some, some push off. So of course we need to go forward just like this. The whole thing is not just like, it's not just a, it's like opening to the front. So we need to accomplish that. And we need to do a kind of like Jeet Kune Do style strike. Okay, so that, that's kind of complex. There's like a lot going on there. So how do we accomplish that? Well, it's, it's gonna come down to knees, ankles, hips, Extension of elbow, sh shoulder. We can like we can like break it down to see what we need to do, right? So let's let's start with the uh, the punch itself, right? And the and let's just imagine doing a static punch, okay? Okay, so let's let's get the stance. So the stance is kind of like this. I, I imagine you're probably, uh, yeah, probably about even weight. I'm not 100% sure. You might, might be a little bit more loaded on the back foot. Let me just see. See, this is part of it, right? Like this is not just me pausing and thinking. This is actually part of the process. You need to think like, where am I gonna load my weight? Like, where does it feel good? I would say that we might even come a little bit more onto the front foot, but this is not a Jeet Kune Do tutorial. So don't, don't take my word for that. But it, it just kind of feels more comfortable when your weight is like a bit more on the front foot. Cause you know, on the, on the back foot, you've only got your toe, your, your, the ball of your feet rather. You've only got that, but this one you got a whole foot. And um, you know, if you're, if you want to be in a position where you want to like lunge forward, like you don't want to have all this weight back here. You want to, you want to be able to, you know, qu quickly move forward. Having said that, you also want to be able to quickly move back, but gosh, just like moving back is so easy, <laughs> you know? And I don't know, it just feels good when you kind of got like a, all the, like a bit more weight on, on the, the whole front foot. So when you find the position, the next thing you need to do, and I'm not gonna spend the whole amount of time that it would take to do this, but you actually need to like, kind of like relax into the position. Like you need to kind of stand there and just like feel it all and kind of like shuffle around and like move your knees and that forward and back and you need to rotate your hips go side to side and forward to back, 
just so that you kind of like nestle into it. Because if you, know, you need to, if you need to initiate from this position, then you better, better have great balance and great stability. So you don't have to go do that now, but like just in the future when you learn movements, like your starting position, just nestle into it and like, like find it, relax into it, like be, go, become into a meditative state and kind of find it, right? But once you've found it, what we need to do now is we need to go like this. Punch goes straight from here to here. That's all that really is happening. And everything else is just supporting. Everything else is just supporting that. Like this is your intent. Fist, boom. No wind up, nothing like that. Just fist, straight line to target. And that's all. So how do we support that movement with our hips and knees, right? Well, one way would be to not think about it at all <laughs> and probably everything will just work out. But there's a, there's, a bit of, there's a bit of complication that I haven't demonstrated at all yet. So one thing that has to happen is this foot has to come around like this. Why is that? Because let's not do it. Okay, we haven't done it. Now we have. You can go further. See that? Kind of strange, right? It's in the same spot. It's in exactly the same spot, but now your heel is all the way around here. So that gives you extra distance. Okay? So as we're going like this, we've got to do a few things. We've got to push off with this foot, but then not fall over. And we need to go into this rotation. Okay? And there's a, there's a few more things you need to figure out there. You need to think like, okay, how does the, what's going to be the final weight waiting like it's going to be is it going to be more on here is it going to be less on here well yeah so your weight is going to come onto here you know these are the kind of concepts you think about like weight distribution you need to think about like weight distribution and um you need to think about how, how do you get there like what is the path All right so this path is kind of kind of simple right this one's just reach out, like reach out properly with your shoulders. Don't just, you gotta go. Huh. So the actual shoulder blade actually comes around, but that's quite easy, right? Like that's quite elementary. But then we also need to go rotate. So we've learned that, right? We've learned this. So the way I, where I like to kind of like do it is like, okay, boom, boom. And I'm just like connecting the neurology, boom. I don't think about too much like what's happening with my head or anything. I just wanna get these things firing together. Okay, now the next thing you need to think about is what's happening with this leg. Like, okay, so this leg is doing what? Well, one of the rules of the, the knee is basically that it travels in the same direction as the, as the toes are pointing. It's a very complicated thing. I don't completely know how it works, but if you, if you do something else, it usually feels awkward and you'll basically twist your knee. So you can kind of just like, before you even worry about any of this or any of that, you can start to go, okay, what is the path here? Like just play with your knee and nothing else. Okay. And when you get this motion of your knee, then you can go, okay, well this kind of informs what's gonna happen with my hip. Like it doesn't have that much degree of freedom. It kind of has to follow 
the knee. And then it also kind of like, the path of the knee also kind of informs like the path of your whole body in a way, right? It's just going like this. Okay, now let's add in knee moving and this, because this is kind of the movement, right? I'll start here, just go like this. Okay. So now you're just concentrating on that left knee and seeing where is it going. Don't worry about the punch. You just keep having repetitions and you're like, oh yeah. And then you can put it all together. Just as a side note, the reason why this is such a good kind of punch, I think is because like, you're in a comfortable stance and it gets the most possible distance as quickly as possible. Uh, I, I think it's really smart. Like it's, you know, Bruce Lee was very practical. It's just like the most distance as quickly as possible. That's why, you know, you have this kind of thing happen for more distance. So this thing here is responsible for the path that happens because you know, that's kind of like the most efficient way to just get over there, to just whoosh, allow, allow your knee to go along that path. Now you also need to return. So if you need to return, what's very important is that you're balanced at this point. Because if you're not balanced at this point, how can you come back? If you've kind of like thrown yourself off, you, you can't get back because you just don't have, you don't have balance. When you don't balance, you can't move. So you need to practice like this position and you need to get balance in it. So what I would do, if you know the idea is like about getting as much distance as possible, I would put my, I would constrain it and say, okay, I have to be touching. And say, okay, that's probably the end position. And I would learn balance in this position. So I would do that same thing at the beginning and just relax into this position quite a lot. Like dissolve the tension in the arm because it's all reached out. Dissolve the tension in the hip and the ankles and that. And then you've got the two endpoints connected and then try to move through the movement slowly. And when you get, when you break it down into pieces and then start to do those slowly, then it's pretty easy to just do it fast. Okay, there's another part to it though. We've got a go forward like this. So, let me just see what the time is. Yep, we got time for that. So how are we gonna do that? Okay, we got a, it's like a fencing one, you know, you know how fences are like this, you know? Obviously the, the best kind of like movements for quickly darting forward is fencing, right? So just channel your inner fencing. And that's what you're gonna do. So get in the stance. All 
Okay, so let's try to bring it all together. We're gonna go slowly, right? Huh. Huh. See, the whole movement has to go together, you know that. It initiates with the punch. Of course, you wouldn't move your body first and then do the punch that's kind of telegraphing something and you know, they've got this time, so. <laughs> so. I'm just thinking what I can, can say here. You kind of need to go forward, land, and then do your knee movement like this. Huh. Okay, so now we can start to get a bit faster. And that's kind of how you learn a complex movement. Because now we're kind of like doing this you know, reasonably fast. It's not like we're doing it like an excellent martial artist or anything, it's not the point of this video. But we break the movement down, we looked at the path of the knees, we looked at the path of this, we saw, okay, this is going like this, this is going like this. And we, so we started to pair them, like we, we did, okay, this and this together. You know, you can do the these two together, you can do, then you can just focus on, okay, I'm just thinking about these two together. And you just start to connect everything. And then you got a, you got a decent movement, you know? And then what you do at the end, like after all is said and done and you're finished, then you just pay attention to, okay, where did you kind of like have problems in your body? Like walk away and go into your body and just think, okay, how do my knees feel? How do my, how do my ankles feel? Have I kind of like, do I sense that I've like raised up the tension anywhere? And then just go, okay, well, this is, a, this is an area that I wanna work on. For example, I feel some kind of tension here, right? So I might just go do some particular exercises just come up with them like who knows what i'm gonna do i'll just do something <laughs> that that does that and do some static hold or some funny stretch or something like that to just kind of like get some changes and reductions in tension there bit of movement whatever do some calf raises anything just to work on that area um okay so that's how to learn a complex movement if you have uh, questions or maybe uh, suggestions for other movements to learn and demonstrate i'm up for that as well okay guys see you next time